she feels yeah. it in a way that's less difficult for her. Yeah, oh, she doesn't yeah. have to give her the love and yeah, the attention. Yeah, she's Yeah, she's needy, but in a different way. Yeah, in different ways. Obviously, Ava has like a pretty fraught relationship with her mom, so I think the mother-daughter thing is like they both have the inverse issue there. Um, and also, yeah, just like feeling like, you know, and obviously like this is a pattern in the show that's been uh, established and it only uh, continues, but just the ways in which they are able to make each other better and kind of, they're the only people in each other's lives who are really challenging each other. Obviously, as we saw in the hotel room, like it was like, that's a fugly ass dress. Like, you know. But that's honesty. That's yeah. the honesty thing. Yeah, they're, they have such a, such a strong foundation for like all so many they sure do. I was curious as performers um, how your feelings about these women have changed since you read the pilot and the way you approach playing them. So Hannah, maybe tell me a little bit about your relationship with Ava and how you feel about her that may be different from the first time you read it. I feel like maybe we, like one or two on set of season one and she was like, so do you like her? <laughs> and I was like, she's dead! Because, <laughs> you know, Ava was like really entitled and really like, you know, uh, spinning out and chaotic and she was kind of hard to empathize with at first. Um, but I feel that, you know, she's grown so much over the course of, of the show and I also... You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> relate to her journey and her growth? Does it feel like a parallel experience? And I would never say that an actor is the role they play, huh. but to what degree do you relate to this trajectory that she's on? You know, I I feel that um, comedically I, I am aligned with Ava, but like on that, she is so fundamentally different for me. Like In what ways? She has like the impulsivity and kind of the like, sort of, a, not like aggression, but like the more like forward, like confrontational element. Also like, I, I'm like an over-therapized Angelino. Like I've been in therapy since I was 15. Like I'm just like, at her age, I was so like, no shade to her, but like I was so much like, just more, I guess, mature. Like I think she, um, so yeah, like I, I, I um, I don't super, I don't, I don't feel like we are like the same in that way. Um, but I, I feel like it was maybe a version of me that never went to therapy maybe. Because we have so many. So she's the cautionary tale, if you will. Uh, yeah, like we have so many like surface, you know, uh, overlap. She's like queer and a com comedian and comedy writer and like lives in LA and all that. But like, yeah, I think, um, I think like, just in terms of like her emotional reality. That's like where we differ. I'm like really like subservient and really like. We always say that Hannah has big PA energy. She's like, can I get your coffee, sir? And I'm like, I'm fine. Like I won't sit in a chair, I'll just like squat. I know, I'm like, you can get a chair. Season three, you can get a chair. You deserve a chair, okay. Yeah. She actually literally sits on our water cooler. 